So here we are with another anime MMO hack and slash game from Korea recently released on Steam. Or at least I'm going to assume it's released from Korea because... Uh, Anyways, this game, you know, I haven't really even gotten into it. This is like a blind first impression kind of thing, but I feel like I'm going to get myself into a heavily imminent fashion gotcha disaster. If you don't know what I mean, then if you've ever played something like Elsword or Closers, the whole thing with those games are they're hack and slash anime MMOs. You spend all this money to get your fancy looking weapon and your fancy looking clothes. And you know, it's really run of the mill at this point. Here's a question I want to ask. Is this game fun enough to warrant that kind of splurging of your money? Well, let's find out. Right away this looks, you know, run-of-the-mill graphics. I mean, immediately I could see the appeal of wanting to play this over Elsword and Closer. It's a different style. Alright, so immediately what you'll first notice is that the movement is not restricted to a 2D plane. And the fighting style is like from a third person angle, unlike Closers, which plays more like a uh, beat em up game, like Final Fight. Controls are simple enough WASD to walk, mouse buttons to fight. I can see why somebody would want to play this over L Sword and Closers at the very least. Oh my god, I'm unlocking my persona! Thou art I, and I am thou. Oh, would you look at that, I'm stuck in limbo. Overall, I think I'd give this game a perfect score. You're out of zero. Give the main character a bigger chest. 